Game Nerd back at you with another pickups video. This video is going to be short and sweet. It's going to be going over a Craigslist deal that I picked up earlier this week. And after that, I'll show you some vintage uh, vehicles for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and G.I. Joes. Um, an update on the Wii situation. I'm really close. I'm down to the last game of 1,250 games. Um, I just don't want to spend the retail price for the game. Um, the last game, it cost maybe $25 or so because it was made in the late um, 2014. So since it's one of the last games that was produced, um, GameStop's not even carrying it in their stores. Um, so it makes it a little bit tough to find. I mean, I could still go to Toys R Us and buy it for retail, but I don't want to do that. I want to find it in the wild, or I want to trade for it, or I want to find it cheap somewhere. So I'll be patient and wait for that last game to just pop up somewhere, and I will finish my Wii collection, and then I'll probably do like a Wii collections video and show you everything. Um, so enjoy the video. Hope you like it. Um, don't forget to subscribe comments and thumbs up it really helps thanks here's a nice little Craigslist slot that I picked up today um, has a lot of PlayStation 1 games um, some Game Boy games N64 Dreamcast um, the, overall there's seven systems and 16 controllers um, and there's about 50 games included in this lot and I was afraid that I wasn't going to get this lot because I've been contacting the guy for the last two days and he finally met up with me um, this afternoon and we struck a deal. I was afraid that he was going to get some higher offers from other um, competitors around the area. Um, there's a lot of people going for th this retro stuff, so especially around my area. And I was right because when I talked to him, he said he had a couple other people who offered a lot more than I did. Um, I was one of the first people who contacted him, but I offered him less than half of what he was asking for. But um, he was a straight up guy, he was really nice, um, he honored the deal because he already said yes uh, when I first asked him about it, so that was really cool that he didn't um, back out the deal and go for the extra money, which a lot of people would do. Um, so up at the top, we have 16 controllers for the 7 systems that he included in this lot. Um, at the very top right corner we have a DMG Game Boy with an adapter and two magnifying glasses and it all works and we have two Nintendo 64's and one of them has an, um, a RAM pack we have a PlayStation 2 Slim that has all the cords it's just buried under that pile same goes with the PlayStation 1 and Dreamcast and all the systems work they were all tested uh, he threw in a few demo discs. I don't really care for those, but they were free. Then we got Mario Paint, the big box, and this thing usually goes for about 35 to 40 bucks, so that was nice to have. Then these are some of the 50 games that he included in the slot. And when I calculate it all out, if I sell roughly half of this slot, um, not even including the systems, just half of the games, I'll get my money back. So um, once I do that, half of it's free and all the systems are free. So at the top, we have Final Fantasy Tactics, Final Fantasy 7, Final Fantasy 8, and Final Fantasy 9. And all these games were actually his girlfriend's, it wasn't even his. Um, but his girlfriend told him to sell it. Um, so he went ahead and did that. So he didn't know a lot about these, but they were all in really good shape. I mean, the case of the cases of these PS1s didn't have any scratches on them. I think only one had a, a crack on it, and that was this Tekken. Next, we got Tomb Raider, Tomb Raider 2, Tomb Raider 3, Parasite Eve, and that includes the bonus disc. We have Mega Man Legends, Twisted Metal 3, and Cool Borders 4. Got Grand Theft Auto, Crash, Crash Bandicoot Warped with the holographic cover, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, Forbidden Memories, and Legend of Mana. Um, and that's RPG, kind of a hard title to find. We got Soul Blade, Tekken, 
and uh, Fighter Maker and Space Jam. Now we got some Dreamcast games and this one's pretty rare, Skies of Arcadia. This game goes for about uh, 60 to 80 bucks um, and this is in really good shape so I would say this one's probably closer to the $80 range. Then we got Sonic Adventure and Soul Calibur, those are about $10 games. We got a loose Command and Conquer and we have a Super Mario World for Super Nintendo and a couple uh, sports games. Now we move on to some loose games. We got Hercules and Crash Bandicoot 2 for PS1. And for PS2 we have Dragon Ball Z Budokai 2, Metropolis Mania, Frogger, The Great Quest, Final Fantasy 12, Surfing H3O, Gauntlet Legacy. We have Harry Potter, Quidditch World Cup, Boulder's Gate, Dark Alliance, Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Ring, Sonic Mega Collection Plus, Atelier Iris, Eternal Mana, we got Grand Theft Auto 3, Need for Speed Underground 2, The Sims 2, Harry Potter and Chamber of Secrets, we got a Dreamcast memory card, two PS1 memory cards, we got a Final Fantasy 7, 8, and 9 strategy guide, and we got this Game Boy Color 6 pack case, um, colored cases that are officially licensed by Nintendo and the best part of the lot I think are these box Game Boys and N64 games and I already put them in protective sleeves um, protective box covers because one of them was already crushing um, which is unfortunate but these are kinda pricey like Megalit up here complete in box is like 50 bucks but card alone is like five um, Kirby's Dream Land, Super Mario Land, Super Mario Land 2, and Yoshi. Those are desirable um, titles, so the prices are between like 15, uh, I don't know, 25 maybe. Then we got Harvest Moon 64. This is a hundred plus dollar game. I was so surprised that he had it. Um, it's complete in box and in really good shape. Uh, Unfortunately, this Zelda Ocarina of Time, the top is just has some issues up up there. It was crushed a little bit, but the front looks pretty good and the bottom's pretty good too. Um, in this shape, complete in box, it's still worth um, uh, forty, maybe forty-five bucks. So overall, several systems, several controllers, and a whole bunch of games. These are some toys I picked up at Value Village. These are vintage G.I. Joe and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle vehicles. Over here we got the Warthog. Um, this was made in like 1989 or 1990. It does come with the missiles and antenna which are kinda hard to find but it is missing some pieces but I checked online and these are going for anywhere between 20 to 40 depending on condition and completeness. Um, the ones that are 100% complete go for a lot more and I got that for uh, three bucks also three bucks we got this uh, Parasite vehicle um, not too expensive this was made in 1991 um, probably goes for 15 in this condition with some missing pieces uh, this I'm not sure what it's called so if you guys know let me know but the bottom um, it folds and it becomes like a hovercraft of some sort and this kind of opens up and this opens up but it came with some figures and you can press the button and it makes noises but right now I think it's out of battery um, it was working earlier um, this is a motorized tank uh, I think it was like 1980 something but this goes for maybe 20 to 25 depending on shape, condition, and completeness. But this is the gem. This is a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle news van. April O'Neil news van. And it's in pretty good shape um, considering uh, this, all the stickers are intact. Um, details there. It is missing some pieces but even in this condition um, this thing is expensive. This thing goes for like 150 
and up. I mean, I've seen some go over $200 um, that are in good shape and have pieces. So I was very surprised, and this was five bucks um, before the 30% discount. And I do have a lot of 30% discount cards. So yeah, I was pretty happy with these, and I'm definitely going to trade off the GI Joe stuff because I don't collect for GI Joe. Um, hopefully, I find somebody locally though because I don't really want to ship these because these are kind of bulky. Um, but the news van, I am definitely keeping that, especially since I traded away my my turtle van um, for some video games. But this one, I want to keep.